Hey bro, how's it going? Hope everyone is uh, is well. So I'm still playing this silly game. Uh, I have a base here. And that's a storage thing over there. And I, I think I could build another one at another base I have. But I'm not committed to anything quite yet, so I'm... I've got this Cobalt Class C over here. And I call it Cobalt Class C because it has a miner that runs all the dang time. And it mines Cobalt. And I sell it, and that's how I've made the vast amount... The, 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 essentially, most of the money I have. So it's nighttime, so the uh, solar panels are off. But this is still working. Um, I have two batteries running. So I only have 750 cobalt in here, which isn't a lot, but it can store up to 5,250. And, you know, when I sell it, it sells for a good chunk. But I would like to get some other kinds of mining stuff going on. Um, but I want to do it in a, in a different system. I don't want two bases in the same system. So I'm going to jump into my ship here. Take off. Oh, I lost. Launch thrusters need to be recharged. Um, I do have a, a capital ship, which I think they gave me kind of early. Uh, I really am not really ready to to use it yet. I don't want to let... Oh, shit, I hit the wrong button. So I'm good at this. These are stationary. I can I can shoot those. Uh, what I am going to do is get to the other side of this and summon my ship. And I have a another kind of ship, but I can't fly it. It just goes out on missions for me. It's very strange. I don't understand exactly what's going on. I would like to get more ships, but you know I don't have quite that kind of cash yet. So all the stuff I'm getting here is is essentially stuff to make it so that I can fly my ships around for free. Tritium. Uh, silver I just sell. I haven't found a use for silver yet. I, I'm sure there is one. I just... Oh! haven't quite found it yet. Oh, look at all this. Um, if, if I'm not wrong, which I probably am, those golden flower looking things up there, oddly enough, are platinum. Like this one here. See, I get platinum from those. And I also haven't figured out what to do with platinum yet, but, you know, that's just because I'm a noob. But I'm having fun playing this game. I have killed a few pirates, which is all right. Um, I am playing with my controller, not not the expensive joystick we're talking about, we, we bought. I am playing with, essentially, an Xbox controller. Because that's all you really need for this game. This game does not require all that other nonsense. No, that's a big... These big ones, you shoot holes through. It's very strange. <laughs> and you get all kinds of gold and silver and stuff. But you don't want to fly into them. It's not a good time. Alright, so we're going to call this good. We're going to fly out of this thing if we can. Uh, but we're going to do it away from the planet, because towards the planet, kind of fail. Yeah, up, up towards there, that, that's somebody else's ship. You know, for all I know, that actually is probably mine, because it's marked. <laughs> yep, that's mine. I left it sitting. Look at all this stuff around it. I'm going to go get some of this real quick, I'm sorry. I, I know you're already bored, but for some reason I think that's useful. I haven't found a use for it yet, but I do think it's useful. Because you just don't, you know, you don't see it everywhere. So I'm, I'm thinking, oh, all right, where? 
All right, bro. Let's let's do this. We saw beyond these walls. We saw a world of death. We take you to there. Should you not please us? So essentially, they want me to either give them ninety thousand credits, three hundred fifty thousand credits. I do have a thing called a defense chip, which will call the authorities to come kill them. But you know what? Since you're here, we're just gonna tell them go get bent. <laughs> and we'll we'll see what happens. All right. The first thing we want to do is get out of this because I have enough trouble and I don't need its help. So I have something targeted. It's to my left. As you see the arrow, I was going to point at the screen, which is not overly helpful. There it is. And I, I, I sent a missile off at it because I could. Oh, now I lost it. Where is it? Shoot. That is not the pirate. The pirate's over here. My shields are not as, in as good shape as his. Oh man, I'm, I'm not doing well here. Oh man, this is not going well. It wants me to recharge my shields, which I did. Because I know how to do that, and I've carried around sodium because I know I need it. Where the heck did he go? Man, my shields are down again. This is not going well. charge my shields but I need to kill something because having this many shooting at me is really not good <sighs> come on oh come on how many are there All right, I killed one. Where is the other ones? See, I'm just not good at this space shooting stuff. And I even have somebody helping me. Ooh, I connected with a missile that time though. I have to play that back. So I got lots of people helping me, but these guys are just hell bent on shooting me. I, I think I survived. Is there more? Nope, there seems to be more. Maybe that's why I was having so much trouble. Jesus. So I can only shoot one missile before I have to uh, uh, recharge. And, oh, by the way, I'm still in my starter ship, so that's why, you know, <laughs> I'm not especially geared for this. Anyways, I hope you're happy you got to see me do some combat. Like I said, I'm no good at it, but... I did survive. And of course, I've completely lost track of where my... Oh, see? 
There we go. I got a, uh, I got a, what you call it? Achievement while you were here. Where is my ship? It was here a minute ago. I just saw it. It should be up this. Okay. I, I surrender. This is terrible. That's a space base. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna go over here so I'm out of the stuff. We'll hit down, summon my freighter. It'll appear here. Oop. And in we go. What do you want, Rock? What do you want? Rock a waspy pet. Alright, so this is my uh, freighter. I, I, I got it because I got in a fight with some guys and I protected it and it was like, yeah, you can have it. Because goodness knows I could not afford this thing. Um, it has nine docking bays, of which I understand I can only have six ships. I'm not quite sure about that. I found this ship. Uh, I have to fix it up as evidenced by the rock as evidenced by the the fire coming out of the ship um, it requires uh, phosphorus I want to say and I, I don't have enough and mining it by hand is you know it's it's an epic fail so what I'm going to try and do is set up another automated miner that will mine and oddly, since this is not really an online game, it does have some sort of online component dish type stuff. But it's not online. It's not like I could, I could attack you or anything in this game. Um, but we could join each other's game. Anyways, um, I'm going to try and set up uh, an outpost that, that mines. And I don't really care what it is. I, I would like it to be copper or phosphorus, but... Uh, anyway, so I have I have another ship that you can't see unless you go outside, and it can go on expeditions. So there's all these different expeditions you can do, and you know obviously when you're hot farther through the game and have more ships and have more rep, blah, blah 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 blah, you can do better ones. But all I have is this kind of a ship, a, a voyage of discovery. Yeah, what do you know? I don't have a combat ship for this. That's why I have that other ship there. I'm going to try and fix it and add it to this fleet if I can figure out how. So the only other ship I have is this DSV Son of the Mim Mimidac. It's an exploration ship and it's got 19 exploration. So we're going to assign that. So the difficulty rating is two stars. The fleet rating is only one star, but I, I haven't failed yet. Now I may not have this fuel, but we'll find out in a minute. Nope, off it went. So that literally will take eight, an hour of real time to go do something. And I can talk to him, but I, I don't understand the purpose. I haven't. So the words in red are words in his language I've learned. So I still have to learn what, you know, this, this Chien Zuv and Umaragado and these two words are. But it's something my, the watch is. So, and, so he's happy now because I'm now in charge and he only has to do what I tell him. So I can transfer items from the ship to the freighter or I can leave. And I can transfer items no matter where I am. So that really doesn't make a difference. But what's, what's strange is you can... I, I, I built a storage unit. Oh, we don't want to go down there. That's my ships. This is the back end of the actual freighter. And it has all of this space. And you can build in all these little areas. I obviously can't afford to build much because, you know, I'm new and I'm broke. I think I can. Oh, for all my inventory's full. I need to go sell some stuff. But this will let me open a storage container that I have on a planet. And I can see all the stuff that's in that storage container. Which I think is kind of neat. I don't know what I'm doing. But, um... Oh! So I have a bunch of stuff in my in my uh, inventory. Because I 
have the stuff to build a large refiner, which I thought I would put here if I can find it. It's under tech. It's under general, I think. Is that it? Is that the large refiner? No, that's a base capsule. Uh, Galactic trade terminal. I would like to build one of these. I seem to have the stuff to do it. There's a medium refiner. There's the large refiner. Um, this is what we want to build just to see what it does. I don't think I can actually use it right now. But it says it's a vital piece. Oh, you see this thing right here? I don't want to build in front of that because I can put something there later. So we're, we'll put it over here. We'll put it as far back as it'll let me go before it turns red. That's good. A vital piece of planetary equipment. The refiner allows gathered substances to be processed into more powerful and more advanced materials. Now it says planetary equipment. I'm in a spaceship, so it may not let me build it, but we'll see. The large refiner allows three different substances to be combined into one new material or materials to be processed at better ratios. The large refiner must be installed in a habitable base, which I'm in, but does not require additional power sources. All right, so build it. Look at that. I now have one. What does it do? I don't have the first idea. So I can, in theory, just just for fun, let, let's put some carbon here. And that will become... Oh, that's condensed carbon. That's not at all what we wanted. That's a, that's a reverse operation. Um... Pure ferrite. We can make it the magnetized ferrite. I'm looking for something that I don't care about. Oh, so this silicate powder becomes glass. And it says it's going to take 50 seconds to make 10 glass from my silicate powder. And it doesn't require any powder power. So this, my friend, is a bonus. Because <laughs> power is kind of a pain in this game. So you can let the, we can leave this running and, and and go do other stuff. Oh look at that! I put it in backwards. <laughs> How did I manage that? All right, so let's let that finish. I think we can pick it up and turn it around. There's a window. I, I mean, obviously you see the red light and everything else. There's a window in it, so you can see that it's working without having to hover over it. And you know, I would like to at least get it right. Obviously, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, I still am just making my way through the main quest line which i'm not gonna try i'm gonna try to not spoil anything of for you which is why i'm just gonna go build a base so it's now done and i can pick up my glass and i can pick up what's left of my silicate but the question is can i turn the dang thing around how do i Normally I would just hold down the right trigger, but that's not working. Um, I, I may have completely hosed this. This this may be here for the long term. Um, hold on, I'm I'm gonna Google it just just in case. Um, so this is a no man's sky remove large refiner. Large refiner's non-portable, yeah, we know that. Can be built, the blueprint. Yeah, I, I don't know, bro. Um, I'll, I'll figure that out later. I mean, it still works. I can still use it. It just, you know. So, anyways, what we're gonna do next, and what really completely confuses me, um, I guess I can go to this now. Oh, stop with the inventory. Full stuff. Jesus. Let's go over here to this storage container. I would like more storage containers, but I have three empty slots. If I take that and put them back, there's no way to move them. So, like, now I have my three empty slots together at least. And I want to put the Corvax casing. Um, do I have the knife on me? No. Um, the Gek Relic. 
I want to have more Gek Relics. I should I should just go to... Oh, they stack... Did you notice I had two stacks of five? Well, they stack better in here. So they only take up ten. Or one slot, which is better. Oh, jeez, look at this. I have two things of glass. I, I fail. All right, I have space now. So... Oh, I need an Atlas Pass V1. I don't have one of those. I, I generally have an idea of how to get it, but I don't actually have it. So anyways, uh, remember I, I sent off those those ships. You can come over here. This is where you turn it in when it's done. But if you go here, you can see how they're doing. I'm not going to talk to him, but you can talk to him. He'll tell you how they're, how they're doing. What I want to do is go somewhere else. I want to go someplace where there's money. Oh, did I build? Oh, see, it says right on there. Fleet arrived in some place, and they're doing something. I should have. This little ship is terrible. I need to, I need a new one, but I just I don't have the money for it. And I haven't figured out how to completely fix it. Before I take off, I want to see if I have Starship, Silver Gold, Economy Scanner. Did I ever build this? I, I seem to have built this. So can I see, I can't see the galaxy map while I'm docked. So let, let's take off. Now mind you, I know I built this economy scanner, but I've never used it. So I have no idea what it does. So we're going to bring up the galaxy map. Oh god, anomaly detected. That's one of my quests. I, I don't want to go to a black hole. This map is the most confusing thing I have ever seen. We want to go to Free Explore for right now. So I have a quest to go to a red system. Oh, come on. Which is like this thing, I think. Yeah, see it says Cadmium Drive required. I don't have one of those yet. That is one of my quests. Um... How do I see? I want to expand this. Economy scientific cell 43 by 24. Promising. I don't have conflict data because I don't have a conflict scanner. I know that shocks you all to hell. Cell 62 by minus 12. That's terrible. Um. What? So I, I, you know, I'm obviously in the very beginning of space that I can get to. Oh, look, I can just scroll around and look at them. I think I want a high buy and a low sell. Yeah, see how this is unpromising? Because the numbers are completely backwards. We're looking for a low sell and a high buy. Aye. What 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 does the star mean there? Out of jump range, yeah. Everything's out of jump range. High voltage. It's got high supply. This is fuel generation. Cell seven. That, that's a failing economy. All right, so let's let's just do this then. Um, let's go back. This is where I am. Oy. What what is this one with the with the blue ship at it? Oh, emerald drive required. I don't know what the blue ship means, and I don't have an emerald drive. <laughs> uh, maybe we should just stay in this system. 
This is a water one. Can I warp to this? I can. I mean, it's it, it doesn't have a great economy, but well, let, let's go take a look. A look, look, it's owned by the Viking. I've probably been here before. Uh, I'm I'm just having a great deal of trouble with this map. I just don't understand it. What do you mean engage in enemy attack ships? I don't, I don't want to deal with enemy attack ships. Rescue the freighters. Attack ships remaining six? This is not going to go well. This is going to go very, very poorly since I cannot find them. Hey, this is terrible. Why is why does it keep taking me to something that's out of range? There's there's got to be a, I don't know how to change my target with these controls. This isn't gonna go well because I'm gonna be. God dang it! Pick something else to aim at. Thank you. There you go. One down. Where is he? All right, fine. I've, I've had enough of being out of range of him. Let's just go find him. Because obviously this is the only one I'm allowed to target. This is how I got my freighter, actually. Did I kill him? Or did I kill a good guy? You seem like you might be a bad guy, too, so let's let's go start shooting at you. Pulse drive back online, escape possible. I don't want to escape now at this point. At this point, I'm actually doing all right. Uh, he's... I... I can't find the bat. Ooh, there's a bad guy there. Where'd he go? Come here, you. Oh, my shields are at full capacity. I'm doing okay. So this other dude is on the other side of the ship, which is why I can't find him. There he is. So who do we have left? We appear to have somebody up here now. Brain is good. Well, I do alright with the missiles when I can hit.
There, there's got to be a button on my controller that helps me select targets, but I don't know what it is. So I just keep on hitting comma on my keyboard and hoping I find something. Nice! There we go. I attacked, we attacked more ships. Life is good. Oh, it's another space rescue. Oh, goodness. What, what's going to happen here? This is how I got my first ship. You know, that other big one I landed on? Oh, God. Where's the commander? Uh, he's here. I think I, I don't think I could have more than one of these freighters. So, I'm going to land and see what he has to say just because it's all new and I have no idea what I'm doing. So, let's hop out, let my ship you know, cool its engines because I'm sure it's tired of me aiming at everything except for the other ships. So let's go here, there. So essentially this is going to be the same as my ship, only, you know, different. Here's the other captain. What's he got to say? The only barks a lot of battle cries approach, celebrating our victory, I hope. <laughs> so this is five million, it's got fifteen slots. What what happens if I already have one? Oh, see compare. Right? So this is the new one. This is class C. This is class B. I'm going to keep my class B. So I'm going to decline the freighter purchase. And can I get some money out of you now? Uh, let's try request payment instead. See what that does. I'm sure I'm going to mess this all up. Really? I will take that. 200 chromatic metal? Nothing to sneeze at. You can take your little Class C ship. I will go get in my little Class Z piece of junk fighter. And let's go find somewhere and start building a base. Now, I'm not going to build this base just anywhere. I'm going to find a deep, scannable thing. And for some reason, I think I want to build it on a cold planet if I can find one. This is an Earth-like planet, though. That I, I, that's that's relatively promising. Let's uh, let's get a little closer. Let's scan it and see what it says. Starbulb, copper, paraffinium, and sodium. Let Let's go take a look, because if I can find a, a deep copper supply. That that could that could make me happy, so yeah, we're not going to spend a, ten minutes getting there. We're going to engage pulse engines. <laughs> I may have a terrible ship, but I keep it stocked with equipment <laughs> or with supplies. So you notice my pulse engine is at eighty-four percent. If you go back a little bit, you'll see it started at a hundred. I don't go anywhere unless I have stuff. So this is Ableus Alpha. It's unmapped. I don't know what unmapped means. I haven't mapped anything yet. Um, I have no reason to, to go anywhere particular, so we're just going to run down to the surface here somewhere. And as we get closer, let's look around and see if there's anything that looks promising. I can scan, but you can't actually see anything when you're down here. So what I'd kind of like to do is find some high ground to land on. Not that high. 
So these things are all over. I, I, I don't know what they are yet. I, I'm sure they have a meaningful purpose and they're going to be related to the story at some point. I just don't know when. Hmm. These trees look interesting. There's a lot of stuff here. That is cobalt. This uh, blue stuff right here. Ooh, what's this? Let's stop and take a look, because, you know, this is what I meant to do. <sighs> Alright, so, we'll get out. That'll save our game, which is handy. And the first thing we're going to do is look around. Um, nothing red, nothing red. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, hello. I see you. Go away. Don't make me mess with you. I'm going to get up on top of my ship for a minute. I, I don't want to kill things if I don't have to. <laughs> but I do have a better uh, uh, multi-tool. And we'll switch this to the bolt caster. So these guys are apparently not going to leave me alone. This could be worse than watching me actually try and do combat, so... <laughs> Um, what, what is our, our potential goal? What are you, what are you? Oh, Jesus, everything here hates me. All right, um, let's go this way. I can't get up there because, yeah, my gear just isn't good enough. I, I didn't want to kill you, dude, but I, I do have a pretty good gun, so if, if that is what it's going to take, that's what it'll be. Oh, so I didn't explain. Um, bait details recorded. To, I don't know what that means. Hold on. Hold the phone. In. So what I was trying to say is, um, so I have this thing called a multi-tool. But I actually have two of them. This is the Kiss of Night DTQ-9, which has damage potential of 448 and a scanner range of 257. But in this, I have foregone some other stuff and put in all these upgrades are linked together. I'm probably going to take this mining beam out because I don't need it in that one. I have another one that actually has a mining beam. So I can switch back and forth. Um, but what is this particular structure here that is sort of interesting on a nice planet? Yeah, we're building a base here. I just don't know where yet. Let's let's look around. Oh, this is a... Alright, so this guy will sell me stuff. He's a guard. Ooh. My malfunctions, but the mic. Um, yeah, let's recharge your excess suit. The Warriors Healing Systems come back online. They put on a show of protest yesterday and they were fine. However, they discreetly offered me an upgrade module in thanks. Superheated rainstorm coming. Interesting, so we'll just stay in here then. Um, this will give me some units, and this will give me nanites. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. I want these nanites here. Now, this is where things get interesting. This is a Viking transmission tower. Oh, these are actually pretty easy. <laughs> if I crack the code, I can find the ship. All right, so I'll show you this. Th this is really easy, though. 99 minus 7 is 92. Minus 6 is 86. Minus 5 is 81. Minus 4 is 77. Yes. Alright, so I got distress signal coordinates, which is going to let me go get a free ship. 
like the one I showed you in my other ship. Hopefully this one isn't quite as broken <laughs> as the one I found before. Uh, we'll see how far away that is. I'll either run over there. Um, what else do we have here? Is that it? I don't need first aid. Why he didn't use first aid is beyond me. I don't care. Um, every time I watch somebody, people, they, they'll they'll look around and they'll click on something and get stuff, and I, I never find what they find. So as I said, I'm going to build a base, but you know, this is what happens with this stupid game. Is I'm going to go build a base, but hold on. It just oh, there's a storm. I forgot about the storm. We're gonna go back inside for a minute. <laughs> that storm will wreck me, and there's just no point in being out there for no reason. I can wait it out in here. It won't take that long. Uh, can I see? Yeah, how far away is that? Yeah, see, six hours. That means go get in your ship, dummy. Which I will. But. I mean, as, as long as my health thing doesn't go to zero out here in the storm, it really doesn't make a difference. But there. Oh, storm's clearing. Alright, so let's go see what this thing has. Fake? I don't know what this is, but we'll take it and put it in my soup. suit. And you're going to give me nanites. Nothing, huh? I can actually sit in this chair. Normally when you click on a chair, it just makes it spin. Okay, and so my inventory is full again, of course, because why wouldn't it be? Give me some nanites. Nothing else in here. Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but, you know, I, I'm not going to let you kill me. That's, that's what it comes down to. I didn't want to kill you, but you decided you had to eat at me, so... <sighs> Does not fear death. Well, that's all right. You can, you can manage to not fear death, but I'm going to kill you. So, well, there, my shield is recharging. My shield is a classic POS shield. This is a save doodad. And it charts part of the planet for me. All right. Oh, come on, man. Seriously, I, I don't want to kill you guys, but you know. If you're going to be jerks, you're going to die. Oh wait, hold on. Before, before we leave, there, there's one thing we're going to do. Oh man, where is he? Essentially, what it comes down to is I'm not going to let them kill me. What is... Oh, that's just a hostile plant. But what we are going to do... Uh, oh, this is going to be dangerous. Uh, we're going to switch to my other... My other doodad. Oh, shoot. My other multi-tool? 
this one does not have a weapon at all, but it has a much different scanner and that I can search for hot spots. And there's none here and I could wander around and try and find one. And that's what we're going to do is find a hot spot and I'm going to build a, plant, uh, a base next to it unless it's cobalt. I will build next to anything but cobalt only because I already have a cobalt base and I don't need another one. I mean, I say that now. At some point I will need much more cobalt. Now, what's weird is I can go about this fast and it'll say it'll take you 13 minutes to get there, but what you can do is just go back into space. <laughs> And once you escape the planet's gravity, you just point back down here. What are you? Hold on. Oh, you're more platinum. I thought you were something else. You seem to be a different color. Alright, so anyways, we, we, we don't want to get another fight. Oh, jeez, die. So, once you get here, put on your pulse engines, and that 14 minutes becomes much, much less. <laughs> so now when we land here, we should find a ship that needs to be repaired, that we can claim. At least, that's what happened last time. All right, we need to slow down a little bit. Oh, there's water. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go pick up a couple of things that I, I just saw. Wow, I don't know what any of this stuff is. This is one way to make money in this game, is by scanning this stuff. What I want right this moment is... That sodium that was in front of me. That used to be more important, but I, I found... What are you? Now, once you see something you don't recognize, it's like, oh, I, I should scan that. Uh, what was I going after? Oh, this thing. The little cylinder that's over there. That's going to teach me a word in the language of the... Probably the Kyvek? Viking. Uh, and you can only use those once, but... Sodium. Sodium. I don't need health, but, you know, whatever. So anyways, there is the broken ship I found. Okaiza Gamble, it's a starship. Shuttle, it's a shuttle, I don't have a shuttle. Its value is 4.6 million credits, that would be handy. So that means I'm not going to be able to repair the damn thing. But we'll see. So here's some damaged machinery. Uh, rusted metal sounds like something you wouldn't want, but believe it or not, you do. Because that turns into another thing at like a... Oh, come on. All right, let's, let's go see what this thing wants. Oh, goodness gracious. So, as you can see, it is completely busted. Its hyperdrive is broke. Pulse engines are broke. Shields are broke. Cannons are broke. Uh, the thrusters are broke. And it has a radiation leak and a shattered bulwark. And all of this stuff has to be fixed. Uh, it's a class... This is a class A ship. It's 
not the best class. Class S is the best. But we're gonna, we are certainly gonna take this thing because I don't have six ships yet, so all I have to do is claim it, and presto poof, it is now mine. <laughs> Alright. So, as I said, yeah, what, what I found out is you don't have to do anything with it, it will end up in my other big ship next time I go up there. This opulence is just dead pilot once belonged to one of the races most... Oh God. Oh, I got a plasma launcher. Yeah, it busted up my shield, I don't care. Launch plasma shells. Launch pl plasma shells bounce off surfaces until their internal timer triggers a large explosion. Okay. Yeah, no idea. All right, so we're going to go back to this scanning thing. Oh, come on. Oh, so this found power, which wouldn't be bad. It's a uh, class A. But power, you know, I'm not far enough into the game where I'm consuming tons and tons of power yet. Um, we need the mining beam because these things will just, they're stupid and they explode. Of course, I should have identified it first, I guess. I have never tried going through the water before. There's a submerged relic there. And an armored clam. Okay, I haven't seen an armored clam before. We're going to go look at that. <laughs> There's another one here. I think I needed a pearl for something. I, I don't recall what at the moment. I haven't been in the water before. You would think in what I'm wearing, this could go poorly. Armored clam. Oh, you want me to shoot it? What do you want me to shoot it with? How do I? Oi! That was not good. Yeah, well, I need that living pearl, so let's go find something to get rid of. Um, do I have something here I don't need? I'm sure I must. I just don't know what it is. Um, what is this? A scanner module. Oh. Dihydrogen jelly, shoot. Let's just get rid of that for now. I, I, I can always make more. Now, let's see if I can figure out how to do this without dying. Uh, apparently, I'm not good at this. The water, the water feels backwards because I have it mapped for, oh, I have it mapped for flight. 
So what happens if I use my other multi-tool? I mean, I really don't want to kill this thing, but, you know. Uh, I don't know how to reload. X. All right, so even using this is not a uh, panacea of any sort. Okay, I got the living pearl. Let's see if I can get another one here. All right, I got the living pearls. So the issue is I cannot figure out which way I'm going. Um, okay. What what are those? That that can't. Oh, those aren't good things. You know what? Let's just get. Let's get out of the water. Can 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 I accelerate? No. Nope. All right. The water thing kind of sucks. All right, so let's swap back to my other multi, uh, my other multi-tool. This one. So, let's just go around the water. Okay, that looks like it's something. It's a plant. Carbon. Constantly moving like nectar. Goodness, don't be. You guys be friendly. And I have to get across this water somehow. Wait a minute. It's over here? Is it in the water? That would be that would be This doesn't make any sense. That's back towards my ship. I'm I'm now officially confused. Is that the class A one? Yeah, electromagnetic power.
<sighs> but I don't want power. I want I want a metal of some type. I'm going back to my ship. The hell with this. Where is my ship? It's not this way. Alright, where did my... I, ha I have lost my, my ship. It's, it's here somewhere. Oh boy. I died? That's only the second time I've died. So, I, I think that's my body. Yeah, it is. Um, I, I need to fix my bolt caster is what it's telling me. And I need chromatic metal and carbon nanotubes and I have none of those. I lost everything. Alright bro, I'm gonna call it here. Uh, you'll never see this anyways, so.